Hello, and thank you so much for joining us for this experimental study today. I'm Nurse Green, and I'm going to be conducting the study with you today. Um, as you know, we are studying a new form of anesthesia, and as I'm sure you've already been assured, there's going to be no needles, no actual surgery today, just application of sedation so we can monitor your neural activity while you're under. What I'll be doing is, uh, first, I will be applying these little sticky things here to your temples, behind your ears, and behind your neck. Um, that's what we'll be attaching the electrodes to, so we can monitor your activity while you're under. Um, after that, I'll be conducting a very basic physical exam. Uh, then we will be applying the sedation, which comes in the form of a spray, um, sprayed onto a face mask. We'll place that on you until you're comfortably asleep and totally under, and then we'll take it off. Um, and you will drift into a very deep and comfortable sleep, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that in just a moment. Okay, so let's see. It looks like you are comfortable. It looks like you are in exactly the position we need you in. How is that recliner that you're sitting in? We ordered them special for this study. We wanted you to be able to be semi-upright, but completely able to relax and sleep uh, without your body experiencing any discomfort. So, if I may, I'm going to begin with your left temple over here. Now, unlike most forms of sedation, which put you into a deep, dreamless sleep, this anesthetic induces vivid, comforting dreams while still putting you into a deep sleep. Okay. I'm going to apply this right here. Good. Moving around the back. So the benefit of this new method is that the dreams cause your brain to release mood-enhancing neurotransmitters like dopamine, serotonin, endorphins. Here we go. Good. And here. Perfect. Now moving around to the other side here. And here. Um, so once released into your system, these neurotransmitters help lessen the stress your body undergoes during surgery, therefore mitigating many of the really traumatizing physical effects of invasive procedures. Uh, the body is physiologically more stable during the procedure itself, and afterwards, healing and recovery time can be improved by up to 30%. Okay. And on your right temple, of course, you won't be undergoing any surgery today. We'll simply be putting you under and monitoring you until you wake naturally. Okay, perfect. And in case you are curious, um, when it comes time to apply the anesthetic, I will be placing one of these masks on my own face to protect myself from the effects. I'll be taking a second one of these masks, unwrapped of course, and I'll be taking the anesthetic, spraying it onto the mask until it's nice and saturated, and then I'll be placing it on your face. Okay? And this is the anesthetic right here. And what we do is we simply spray it and just kidding. This is actually what we use to clean the bedpans. This is the anesthetic right here, and um, it's something that we've already tested on. I believe we have recently hit uh, 700 other 
patients. We haven't had a single negative reaction yet. Uh, we consider it extremely safe. Um, we haven't discovered any risks we need to be concerned about, so you can feel calm and relaxed knowing that. Um, but of course, guidelines require us to do a lot of testing just for the sake of uh, redundancy and to make absolutely sure that it's safe. But between you and me, I have 100% confidence that you will experience absolutely no negative effects during this testing. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with your physical exam. I'm going to begin by putting some gloves on my hands. do a favor and just look directly at my nose. I'm going to shine this light into your eyes. Blink if you have to, but as best as you can, try to keep your eyes open and fixed on my nose while I examine the reaction of your pupils to this light. Okay? Good. Other eye. Good. A little further away. Bringing it close. Good. Again, the other eye. Perfect. Beautiful. Once again, look at my nose. Bringing in the light. Good. Other eye. You can blink a few times if you need to. And now what I'd like you to do is look at the tip of this pen light right here. I'm going to move it around a little, and I just want you to follow it with your eye. Okay? Here we go. be taking your blood pressure. Uh, once again, we're big on redundancy here. So yeah, I'm going to be taking your blood pressure on both sides. We'll start on your left side, and then I'll move over to the um, right. <laughs> and after that, we'll move on to the next part of the testing, which is your temperature, which we'll also do on both sides. So... I have my cuff here, nice Figma manometer. I'm going to wrap it around your arm. I'm going to squeeze this multiple times so that the cuff fills with air. You'll feel pressure on your arm, and that way I'll be able to check your blood pressure and make sure that you're in a stable, healthy state for this experiment. Okay, so let's get started. All right, I'm going to wrap the cuff around your arm. Here we go. going to feel some gentle pressure as I inflate the cuff. Okay, I'm just going to have a listen. 
and good. Let's see. Perfect. Let's go ahead and take the cuff off of this arm. Perfect. And and wrapping the cuff around your arm. There we go. Once again, you're going to feel some pressure as I inflate the cuff. Good. Let's go ahead and take your temperature. So I will be taking this ear thermometer and gently inserting it into one ear and then the other. Each time I do so, you'll hear a little click and a beep. And that way I'll be able to check your temperature. Let's go ahead and start over here. Right, you're gonna feel the thermometer entering your ear canal. Here we go. And good. Other side. Once again, feeling the thermometer entering your ear. Beautiful, we're in great shape here. Now, I'd like to take a listen to your heart. So, I'm going to be placing my stethoscope on a few different locations on your chest and then your back. Um, when I do your chest, I'm going to be pulling your gown, your hospital gown, just down a little bit. Um, it shouldn't be too far for your comfort, just so I can take a listen. And when I move around to the back, I'll be separating the gown in the back there so I can listen. I'll be giving you some deep breathing instructions as we go, okay? So, I'm reaching in and touching your gown right here at the collar and just gently pulling it down. You're going to feel the stethoscope might be a tiny bit cool on your skin right here. Okay, good. How does that feel? Okay. Now please take in a nice deep breath in. Hold. And breathe out. Good. I'm going to move it around a couple times. Breathe in. Hold, and breathe out. Perfect. Breathe in. Hold, and breathe out. Good. Let's move around to the back. just gently parting your gown in the back here. And now you're going to feel the stethoscope pressed against your back, right between your shoulder blades. There we go. Breathe in. Hold. Breathe out. 
it out. Beautiful. Breathe in. over here. And I'm just going to do a quick lymph node check uh, on your face right around here as well. I'm just going to be checking for any uh, swelling that might indicate that you have any kind of viral infection. It's just the last step. Once again, we want to make sure that you are healthy, stable, and comfortable during this whole procedure. So I'm going to begin by press, press, pressing my fingers gently but firmly down your nose a few times. You ready? Okay. Press, press, press. Feels good. Press, press. Now your lymph nodes, I'm going to reach in here and just gently palpate the area just beneath your jaw, feeling for any lumps, bumps, any excessive firmness, and you feel great. I think you're ready to go. So, I'm going to go ahead and apply my mask. I'll be opening up yours and spraying the anesthetic onto it. There we go. Let's make sure the solution is uh, properly mixed up and hasn't settled too much. Right on there. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead. You ready? Okay. Once again. This is a completely comforting and calming procedure. Um, many of the people who've been through this say it's better than going to the spa because it's so relaxing and you should wake up feeling calm and refreshed, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and place the mask on your face, fix it around your ears, and we should be good to go. So, here we are. <laughs> place it on. Wrap it around your ear and on this side. Good. And you should be feeling the effects already. Sweet dreams. <laughs>